Hi there, my name is Lena and I am a Solutions Engineer here at Abfia, helping companies implement cloud in secure, scalable and cost-effective way. I am very excited to take you on a cloud landing zone journey through a series of videos. So make sure that you follow Abfia for, for all the content and let's get started. You might wonder, what exactly is a cloud landing zone? Well, a landing zone is a well-architected, scalable and secure cloud adaptation. It is also a set of principles and guidelines to take you through your cloud journey and ensure you can actually get the best out of it. Without strong foundations in place, you might actually find yourself redesigning and re-architecting your setup later due to changing requirements. There are several key components that you should consider when designing your perfect cloud setup. First of all, you should consider account and resource organization. For instance, AWS suggests creating a multi-account setup with several accounts for your workloads and separate accounts for your shared workload, such as security or network accounts. Another key component of landing zones that you should consider is access management. You will be able to implement a centralized access management. You will be able to consider cross-account access where required and level of access that your workloads require. Another key component of cloud landing zones is network architecture. There are quite few things to consider. Global network segmentation, as well as CIDR allocation and how you'd like your network to be shared. Another component of cloud landing zone, initial security and compliance baseline. All sorts of policies that your organization might require. Encryption, network security, access security, and other rules that you can potentially apply on organizational level. Another key component of cloud landing zones is logging, account monitoring and auditing. With best guidelines, you'll be able to analyze what is the best logging strategy for your organization and you'll be able to analyze what kind of logs and activities are essential for you to monitor. These are some main components of cloud landing zones. However, there are more, so it all depends on your organization needs. Once you're satisfied with your approaches to setting up landing zone, you then need to consider the right implementation based on your needs. There are two ways of implementing your landing zones, either by using pre-packaged solutions provided by cloud providers or opting in for a more flexible custom option. With regards to pre-built solutions, Azure Landing Zone Accelerator or AWS Control Tower. When it comes to custom solutions, you can potentially opt in for a flexible set of your own infrastructure as code modules, or you can also go with AWS Landing Zone Accelerator. The choice depends on your needs, expertise and resources. We will cover those in greater detail in later videos. To sum up, we have been looking at cloud landing zones, key components and implementation. I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to follow Apfia for more content. Bye!